Hi guys, it's Sunday. We had Buxton yard sales today, so I've been going around all the yard sales. Well, apart from the ones that I could actually see had nothing of interest to me on it. Because some of them were so close to the road you could easily see when you walked past. So I did sort of ignore a few. Anyway, I've got a bunch of stuff in the kitchen that I want to show you. So, should we go have a look? Voila! We are in the kitchen. So, <laughs> most of it is computer stuff and I guess in a way I didn't actually pick up a lot. But I did pick up two PCs and two laptops. Uh, from three different stalls and believe it or not I paid just £30 total for all four items. I'm told this one works. Uh, it's an HP Pavilion. I'm not sure of the model number. I'm going to do separate videos on this, so we'll get into that in those videos. It's an HP Pavilion. It's got a Windows XP sticker on it. Intel Pentium D inside. Um, but the little bit of paper that was with it said it had Windows 10 installed. I think it had a 3.5 GHz processor. I'm not sure if that's single core or dual, but this, I believe, has DDR2 RAM when I was looking at it in the car. And it's got two gigabytes worth. It's got two hard drives, which are IDE hard drives. And like I said, I was told this work. And it came as a complete setup. I've got the uh, keyboard here. It does this horrible off-coloured white thing. Don't really want it, don't really need it, but like I said, it came as a setup. Uh, came with this little e machines monitor. I don't really need monitors, I've got enough at the minute, but I do find having a couple of spare ones is no bad thing, so I've got another spare monitor. <coughs> um, a few other bits in here as well. I actually don't know exactly what I've got. I've got a few games. Got a box game. From Acclaim. What is it? We have... Trick Style. Which looks like a futuristic skateboarding, hoverboarding sort of game. I'm going to have a look at that in a minute. Rayman 2 and Galaxy of Games. I'm sure I've got some similar games like this. Not necessarily Galaxy of Games, but I've got a few where they have like, you know, loads and loads of games on one disc. Uh, what else have we got? We have... Ooh, thanks Matt. Now, when I actually get another PC set up where I want it, I will need that. Ah, this is just all the cables as well that came with it. A mouse, rollerball mouse. Dolphin mouse. Actually looks in pretty good condition. Looks very clean as well. The usual power cables. But for some reason this has got a clover leaf on it. I'm not sure anything actually uses clover leaf. Where's that monitor? Does that use a clover leaf? Oh it does! The monitor uses a clover leaf. I've never seen that before. Usually it's what we commonly call a kettle lead over here. Which is uh, this style. I can't remember the actual name, but over here, an old name for this is the kettle lead because many years ago, this is what kettles used. It plugged straight into the kettle. You know, boop. Hence the term kettle lead. Um, USB cable. Oh, I know what that's for. That's for the um, speakers that came with it. That's the power cable. Haven't got the speakers here. They're still in Mum's car because I forgot to get them. But yeah, they, they're only little ones anyway. You know, there's ones that run on batteries. Or you can run them on an external power supply like this thing. I think it would actually need to be a 6 volt adapter. But apparently they run fine on the 5 volt USB. And we've got another VGA cable. I don't really need any of these. I've got a drawer full. That is it. That's all that's in the bag. We're going to have a quick look at this. Because I want to know, is it... CD, 
Oh, it is CD. I was just wondering if that was going to be a CD or a... Looks like someone's written their name in there as well. well that's complete. It's got all the um, paperwork and stuff. Cool. Um, <coughs> the other PC... Believe it or not, I paid £10 for this and it was worth it just for the parts. Especially as it's got two IDE hard drives in, which are getting very hard to find. Don't know the hard drive size yet. Um, like I said, I'll go into details with that when I do the video. I've then got this Asus Essentio series. Yep, that is Essentio. Hmm. I'm assuming I'm pronouncing that right. Now, this had a £10 sticker on it as well, and that said no hard drive. But what actually got me is interested is the fact it's got an Intel Core i3 on it. If that's the original motherboard, but looking at the description of it and whatnot, it is. It's got a stick of RAM in there. I haven't opened it up, so I don't know how much RAM is in there. Don't know if it actually turns on and will post. So I'll do a video on that and we'll find out. Uh, but either way, I think it was still worth £10 because it was actually quite a nice case. I like the case. Anyway, let me get these out of the way next. I've got a pair of these black lights, front and rear, ever ready. So I'm going to clean them up. So I've got a couple of old bikes that I want to stick these on. I made the mistake of selling most of mine and I actually wish I'd kept some back. Never mind. Whenever I go to car boots and things, I do find them. And I've got this set of bike lights as well, brand new sealed. These are from Lidl. Crivet is a Lidl band. Brand, rather, not a band. They've got a three year warranty on them. I think that might be up now because I've got an exact set of these in white. And they haven't done this design for at least two years now, so there might be years left in the warranty, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I do like these sets of lights, and I thought for £2, grab it. Now, the laptops. I paid £10 for the pair from a charity stall actually in the village. By the village hall they had like a mini car boot sale and they were selling all sorts there. I've got this Lenovo idea pad and I've got Nemo making noise in the background. Again, I don't know the status of this one. It looks undamaged, a bit dirty, but it's missing a hinge cover. That's no big deal, not really. It don't affect its function. Uh, I can't see what the sticker is. That is either an X. I'm certain that's an XP COA on that, but it doesn't say it. It's all worn off. But it's an idea thing. A Lenovo idea pad. I'm sure that's where I saw that somewhere on it. No, there's no charge in it. But uh, I do like my laptops. I don't know why, I just like laptops. So I've got to try and find an adapter to that to fire it up. I also picked up, along with that one, from the same stall. I just picked them both up, you know, and said, how much? And he said, £10. This one is a Dell Inspiron. Yep. Windows Vista COA there. Intel Pentium inside. Most likely it's only a dual core DDR2 RAM, but I'm sure I can do something with it. Now I'm too eager with this one because it came with its power supply, so I want to know, does it work? <laughs> so, plug it in. I'm not seeing any lights. I don't know if there is any. It's got a little Wi-Fi thingy bob there. I'm not actually sure what that's for. It turns on. I have to say, something does not sound very good in it. The screen is rather dark. It says resuming windows. So it's doing something. The fact it does this is good. It means, you know, I've got a chance of fixing it if something is broken, so... What's it doing? Is it doing anything? 
and notice what user locked do I need a password <laughs> well what do you know the damn thing actually works I don't know why it's got all this comfort can't find the cursor Holy crap, I don't believe it, it actually works. Holy crap, a bunch of stuff on it as well. Wow, well that's a bonus. <laughs> Shall we have a quick look? Mouse's pad isn't very good on this. In fact, it's totally crap. Maybe that's what this little gear speed device is on the side here. Maybe that's for a wireless mouse. Right, so I need to go into control panel and I can find it. Should be able to find it because this is just lo looks just like Windows 7. I don't know what that was, it just flashed up. Luke Firewalk. I have no idea what that is, but bummer off. It's probably full of all sorts of malware and crap as well. There is the system. What are we running? Two gigabytes of RAM. It's a 32-bit OS. Two gigahertz dual core. And we are activated. Cool. I haven't got an adapter handy for the other one. I've got to find one. Might be one in my drawer, but I'll have a look later. Cool. What is this thing? It's got Microsoft written on it, so I don't know if that's the Wi-Fi. I don't know if this has got built-in Wi-Fi. What have we got? got two USB ports there. Let's unplug that out of the way. RAM cover wasn't on properly. Oh, I didn't see what size hard drive it had, did I? Or if there was anything in the thingy. Well. That was my little haul, like I said. Not much, but enough. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. I hope you like this little video. Stay tuned for videos where we uh, take a look at everything. Ah, someone shut this down and didn't do it properly, did they? Like I did. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.